Good morning. <laughs> wait. Wait, wait, wait. <sighs> okay. I'm ready now. I know it's been a little while since I made a video for you guys. Um, and I'm sorry, but today I am going to do a little hat tutorial for you. And I, I guess it's not really a tutorial because I'm pretty new at the hats. So hats, caps, I think this is a cap. Um, I think I see people using that word interchangeably. But I'm pretty new at uh, doing the caps. I've had my machine since August of 2020, late August. And I am just now starting to use the, the cap attachment. And I'm really enjoying it. There are some things that you, you need to know um, before using the, the attachment. When you get it, uh, well, I'll show you, but you actually need to make sure it's adjusted correctly. Beforehand, it's already pretty much adjusted pretty well. Um, they show you on the Milko YouTube channel how to adjust your, your cap driver. And I just went over that and made sure everything was adjusted accordingly and everything was adjusted accordingly. So it was pretty much ready to go. I just double checked it. Um, yeah, that's it. We're gonna go ahead and get into this uh, cap, cap embroidering. And really, we're kind of going to be learning together. If anybody out there is a pro at doing caps and you have any advice or any tips for me, go ahead and leave that down below. So let's go ahead and let's get into this. Actually, this is the cap driver. I think it's a cap, called the cap, the cap driver. If it's not, correct me again down in the comments. Sorry about the shaking because I'm holding the camera. Um, I just go ahead and keep the cap driver when I'm not using it in the box that it came in. And it has these nice little, you know, styrofoam inserts. And you just set it back in there. And this part, this attachment here on the bottom, oops, also goes with the cap driver. And most of the time you can just leave this on here when you're doing other, when you're doing flats and other types of embroidery. Sometimes you have to remove it. I did a backpack the other day and I had to remove this because it, it, got in the way of that and it's real easy to remove and um, attach and remove but i'm gonna go ahead and put the cap driver on you want to be a little gentle so that you're not messing up anything just be a little patient and a little gentle and your cap driver should just slide you know straight on there um, if it doesn't slide straight on there, you might might need to make an adjustment, but mine slid straight off. Real simple to attach, not a big deal. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to hoop this hat uh, first. So this is the, I don't know what the proper term for this is, I could put some plastic on there. But you can actually, let me see if I can show you. You can actually hook this onto almost any um, table that that fits in this uh, width here. So this is just so you have a little station to hook your hats, keeps everything stable, and it just screws on very simply. So you can just hand tighten it. And then with Melco, what I got was two of these. These are the frames, these are cap frames um, that you hoop the cap in. So what you do here is you slide this on. It clicks into place like so. You open this here on the side. This is what secures the cap. And then what I am using is they sell these pre-cut uh, cap stabilizers. So this is a 3.0 stabilizer. It's a tearaway. So open your cap. I have a snapback uh, flat bill cap that I'm using for this. Open your cap. Take out the little cardboard. And you are just for And I actually, a lot of times I just put this straight on here. But let me put it in here. And then you take, fold out this. Make sure it's completely folded out. The band. I think that's what it is all the way around okay. 
you have this line to line up the seam on top with it but when you use this uh, when you put it into place with this this actually slides the cap over so I align the seam a little bit to the left so that when I slide the whole cap over when I put the little bat, uh, brace over it or whatever it's called uh, it'll should line up pretty well so I got it just off here and I yank it down underneath a little bit yank it by the little snap back portion and these little claws that you have here the little claws you're gonna want to make sure that those claws on the sides I don't I'm don't think I'm taking good film on the sides but I'll show you you want to make sure they're on the sides and on the make sure I got that okay clip it into So sure it's good. And then what you want to do is you get these little clips too. You make sure it's flat. You clip the backs of it. Pull that uh, material and clip the back of it. So let's try to get it flat as possible back here. Okay. And so another thing that I do is when I use my laser alignment tool, I, I use these marks. I make marks on them with a, um, a pen, a removable ink pen. So I take my little tape measure and from the middle uh, part here, I actually, the design I'm doing covers the whole front part. So it pretty much is on the seam. So there's some thread here. To make sure everything is aligned pretty well, I make my marks on the thread here and I'll show you when I do it but I don't know if you can see that but, and I do it 1.5 inches one and a half inches up from this uh, either I mean it's the same there's a, a piece of thread and this little metal seam lines up from the thread so so when I use my laser alignment tool it's gonna line up the uh, the design perfectly in the middle of these two dots here that I have on the side. Let me just double check and make sure it is the right darker. And these dots, I mean, you just put get a little Q-tip, a damp Q-tip, and you you take off the marks. They come off really easy. Okay, so this is going to be ready to put on the machine. Okay, before we actually get started, one thing that you're going to want to do on your machine or your um, your software is go in here and change it to cap settings and I don't know why this picture is not popping up but it actually does change the the tension automatically so the cap setting is about a 9 or 10 usually so you can change it to cap settings and then what you're going to do is you're gonna come where is it back here this little thing here is a presser foot that that's what raises and lowers a presser foot so you're gonna put it all the way down and then for caps it's two or three clicks up one two and then if you want an extra one then three that's three clicks up those are the settings that you want for the caps come here in your settings and make sure you have your cap frame selected also right here in your hooping you have a bunch of hoopings and then just select your hoop select w a c f unless you have one of these other options which i do not this is the one that you're going to select make sure those little claws get the seam of the hat all the way around as much as you can just make sure that these little claws here on this little metal thing are aligned with the seam and it's stretched nice on the side and just all the way around aligned aligned with the seam here on the sides as well and you do have these little clips and the back are these little poles you're gonna make sure the hat let me show you this one you're gonna make sure the hat is completely over the poles and then you use these little poles to to tighten the hat here to tighten the hat here and you know make sure you got a nice flat fit all the way around so that's what it looks like so you put your hat on your machine 
You're going to put it in sideways, of course, because the bill would be in the way otherwise. And then you can kind of feel it like click into place and then you push it in and then give it a tug. Make sure it's in tightly so it, it is secure. So I'm going to do now on my machine is use my laser alignment tool to line up my design. And the way I'm going to do that is um, use these little dots that I drew on the cap. This pretty much will line it up perfectly. But these, this laser alignment, you know, especially with hats too, it's a really good way to make sure you line up everything perfectly. So I got my first point logged in, then I swing it all the way across. I have my next point in, and then I'm going to line now. It'll automatically line it up. Okay, we can see where the laser is and that laser sometimes the laser is a little off and usually I saw Nate you guys know I watch Nate drop the needle to check if it's exactly in the middle well you can definitely do that too but I found that the laser alignment you know will already if you draw the points it will already center it perfectly in between those points so I, I don't need to use that but if you for some reason, the laser is slightly off when you do caps. Not when you do flats, but when you do caps for some reason. And you, you usually have to drop the needle. But if you see where my point is, that laser is exactly on that. So it pretty much lined it up um, where I needed it to be. And I already have cap designs. So obviously you see what I'm doing. I already have cap designs stored in my system already upside down, ready to size perfectly um, the few cap designs that I've already made I'm gonna make more obviously but you know I'm just getting started with the caps so now what I'm doing is changing the color colors okay let me trace real quick trace <laughs> Okay, switching to regular video. So what we have now is a broken needle. So what I'm gonna do in the middle, when this happens in the middle of a uh, sew out, all you do is just remove the hat. Don't take it off the um, off the frame. You just take off the whole hat with the frame and you set it aside. It will pick up in the exact same location that it stopped okay so here look there goes the broken needle underneath the cap um i just like to take out everything and use my little to make sure that there's no um particles in there from the needle that's left over i usually look at my bobbin take it out of the thing and make sure that there's no particles in there then just put it back in if this happens you know when I first started the first two times I put a cap on the machine my needle broke one time the first time I put it on needle broke second time needle broke I was like oh my god there's gonna be a nightmare and then after that things seem to flow nicely so I don't know why the needle broke but Maybe I don't have it in properly, but it's okay. No big deal. We're gonna swap out that needle. And the needle type that I'm using is a 7511 sharp needle for these uh, ball caps. Okay, so now while we're here, let me show you how I change the needle. It's actually pretty quick. So you have two sides of the needle. It's very important that you put the needle on the right side I, I don't know if you can see that well there's a larger 
indention toward the bottom of the needle that goes in the back and on this side this goes in the front you'll see like the hole and then you'll see like a long thin line that goes up so what I do is I put the magnet on there and when you put the magnet the magnet shows you which direction that the needle should be facing kind of doing this in a weird way so I got the camera in front of me and <laughs> okay so see how that magnet kind of just stays there oops okay well it's making it a little bit harder because I have the camera in front of me that magnet should stay there like that hopefully and the way these needles go is you want this magnet to turn just slightly to the right of you when it's facing you and you make sure that needle is all the way up inside and then let me see I bring I use these little things to tell me okay so I feel like it might be a little bit too much to the right so I'm just gonna adjust it a little bit That should do it. And then that's it. We're done changing the needle. We have the thread here. Snip the end. Put the put the thread the needle. Pull the thread through that one like that. And we're done. So it's not too bad if you get a broken needle. Easy to change. Took me a while at first when I didn't know how. But I know how now. Hopefully this won't give us too many more problems. So what you do now is just put your cap back on. See the laser, I'm probably just gonna go back a few steps. I don't know what that is. The laser on the caps for some reason is off, but and let me start it at a slow speed cuz I don't know what exactly it was that we're going 600 just starting back up. So you are done embroidering uh, the hat. This side piece, I kind of didn't like it because I didn't realign it. It came out okay, but I didn't realign it. Um, I was doing a, the alignment a few times and I didn't realign it one last time. So it didn't actually come out like straight in the middle like it normally would. These dots, all you're doing is all I'm doing, not your. <laughs> is just damping these little dots. They'll come off. Uh, this is a wet Q-tip. So it will, oops, it will come off. But if you look at this, if you look at this um, design period, see how it pretty much lined up exactly on the stitch line here. And on this side, it lined up exactly on the stitch line here. So I just used the laser alignment tool and it just, lined it up centered it perfectly on the hat um, I don't use the the needle in the middle tactic that they use I mean which is a way you can use too but um, it works like this fine okay so just clean up the hat cut off any loose strings this tape I put on sometimes because if I have to remove the hat sometimes it will bump up against the little um, what is that the grabber or like that piece that's on the grabber. So I just put it on there to kind of protect the brim of the hat in case it does bump. And I'd like, like my sticker to be intact too. Then you come on the inside. I feel like this was two pieces. Just feels like really thick. Just tear off the pieces. It's a tear away. So with this side portion, you actually, what I what I'm doing right now, because I act, I haven't figured it 
figured out the correct dimensions so that I can actually embroider the whole design in one. So what I do is at the end is I, I put this in the system and then I embroider it separately. Um, I want to figure it out so that I can actually, I have to get the dimensions so I can do it as one whole sew out and I don't have to stop and do it separately. Um, this is the finished product and I am pretty happy with it there are some things that I also still need to learn um, as far as embroidering caps um, still a beginner as I said before but um, that's it uh, I guess things to keep in mind again about embroidering caps make sure that you have the proper settings I forget <laughs> I forget to do um, the proper settings when I start doing the cap and that's very important I'm very forgetful and that's actually what caused caused the needle break I didn't have the presser foot up when you do caps you want to raise that presser foot up uh, at least two two clicks I usually do it three clicks you bring it all the way down and then uh, click two or three times up and make sure that your tension is at about a 10 you can change it to the cap setting on on the machine or you can just leave it um, on the shirt and then just raise it to about nine or ten I think everyone might have some different preference on what where they like their settings um, everybody has a different way of doing things and then still end up with a really good product um, that's just a way that for now the way I like to do things, you can use your 75, 11 sharp needle. Some people actually go up to 80. Um, I may even venture into 80. I don't know. Uh, I, I'm actually pretty happy with the 75, 11s uh, sharp needles. But I guess that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial um, learning experience for me still. And you guys enjoy your day. Um, thank you. Bye. Mwah.